We thank you, O God, for your life-giving word, for calling creation into being, declaring forgiveness from the cross, and delivering the spirit of rebirth. We praise you, O God, for your word. Your word is a lamp lighting our path, a mirror reflecting ourselves, a shield providing us refuge, a fire burning for justice and truth. Your word is sweeter than honey. It nourishes our bodies like milk. It sustains your people like bread. We receive your promises more treasured than gold. We bless you, O God, for your word. Open our ears to your prophets, apostles, and saints, and to all the cries of the needy. Breathe into your church the mighty spirit of Christ, that heeding your voice of beauty and power, we are strengthened to serve wherever we are called. To you, Father, Son, and Spirit, the source, word, and breath, we offer our thanks for your life-giving word. Amen. O God Almighty, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, Grant us, we pray, to be grounded and settled in your truth by the coming of the Holy Spirit into our hearts. That which we know not, reveal. That which is wanting in us, fill up. That which we know, confirm. And keep us blameless in your service, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A reading from 1 John chapter 4. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, for God is love. God's love was revealed among us in this way. God sent his only son into the world so that we might live through him. In this is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Beloved, since God loved us so much, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God lives in us, and his love is perfected in us. By this, we know that we abide in him and he in us, because he has given us of his spirit. And we have seen and do testify that the Father has sent his Son as the Savior of the world. God abides in those who confess that Jesus is the Son of God, and they abide in God. So we have known and believe the love that God has for us. God is love, and those who abide in love abide in God, and God abides in them. Word of God, word of life, thanks be to God.
gathered into one by God's Holy Spirit, we are bold to pray as our Lord Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For these holy spaces we inhabit, and for all who offer together their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the health of creation, for abundant harvests that all may share, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For public servants, the government, and those who protect us, for those who work to bring peace, justice, healing, and protection in this and every place, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel, for those who are sick and suffering, for those who are in captivity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For deliverance in the time of affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all servants of the church, for this assembly, and for all people who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Amen. O God, from whom come all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works, give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may live in peace and quietness. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever. Amen.
Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, keep our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. Amen.